Hello everyone! If there's anyone in the chess world that doesn't need introduction, it's uh, definitely Maurice Ashley, uh, the gangsta chess commentator that can make uh, any, f any chess match sound like a football game. And uh, this game he's playing against uh, Sunil Viramantri. The game was played in uh, 1991, and uh, Sunil Viramantri is actually Nakamura's stepfather, and uh, his early childhood uh, chess coach. So let's see this game between uh, Maurice Ashley and uh, Nakamura's stepfather. Uh, we have e4 by Maurice, and now d6, the Pierce defense. Uh, d4, g6, knight to c3, uh, bishop to g7, bishop to e3, and uh, okay, we can already see that uh, uh, Maurice is ready to attack uh, with, with the formation of bishop e3, queen d2, and f3, and going for bishop to h7, and exchanging that uh, dark square bishop. So c6, uh, we have queen to d2, b5, <coughs> f3, uh, knight to d7, and uh, Maurice goes h4, uh, ready to push g4 and h5. Uh, but we have h5 by Mr. Sunu. Uh, we have knight to h3, knight to b6, uh, knight to g5 now, and rook to b8. And here uh, uh, Mr. Viramantri is ready to push a5 and b4 himself and attack on the queen side. And so uh, Maurice plays uh, knight to d1. Uh, well, uh, this is just remaneuvering the knight to e3 after the bishop moves and, uh, well, <laughs> who knows where, where it's gonna go after that. Uh, we have d5, uh, bishop to f4, uh, rook to b7, and now e5. Uh, this is locking this dark square bishop pretty much out of the game. So we have knight to h6, uh, bishop to d3, and now knight to f5. And uh, well, okay, uh, here uh, definitely Maurice would want to exchange this knight, so uh, bishop captures on f5. And now bishop captures on f5. And we have knight to, knight to e3, now threatening to capture this bishop and to break open the king's side. Uh, but Mr. Sunil Viramantri finds an interesting move. He plays knight to c4 and uh, he attacks uh, Maurice's queen. And also, well, uh, if Maurice doesn't want to lose the queen, he'll have to exchange this knight. And uh, this would uh, favor black indeed if this b file got opened. Uh, but uh, actually Maurice uh, f finds a, a nice gangster move. And he plays knight captures on f5. Uh, parting with his queen and also threatening uh, knight captures here on g7. So, okay, the queen sacrifice is accepted. We have knight captures on d2 and now knight captures on g7 with check. And uh, we have king to d7 by black. If uh, black tried something like king to f8, then this is, uh, well, completely winning for white. Uh, you'd get knight to e6 with check, f captures knight, knight captures on e6 again now check, forking the king and queen. Uh, king to a8, e8, now grabbing the queen, knight captures on d8, and now, well, this black knight is still attacked, so you do have to at least use it somehow, so knight captures on f3 with check, at least grabbing a pawn, g captures knight, and now king captures on d8, and as you can see, white is happily up a bishop. So after knight to g7 check by Maurice, uh, we have king to d7, and now, again, a very nice continuation by Maurice, uh, e6 check. And this isn't uh, any uh, tricky attacking move, this is simply to open up uh, this bishop's diagonal, as this is now a very powerful piece. Uh, we have king to c8, and now not, not capturing this knight, as if uh, king captures knight, you get queen to b6, attacking that d4 pawn, uh, king to e3 defending, and now f6 attacking the knight, knight to f7, and now rook to g8. And well, this knight uh, really doesn't have anywhere to go. So if white would want to keep his peace, he would have to play uh, bishop, to, bishop to h6, now protecting that knight. And, uh, well, as you can see, white has three pieces up here doing absolutely nothing just to protect this one piece. And uh, black is ready to push c5, and black is better here. So after king to c8, uh, Maurice plays uh, e captures on f7. And already <laughs> that's a very dangerous pass pawn <laughs> on the seventh rank. Uh, we have knight back to c4, as the knight was still attacked on d2. Uh, knight to e6, attacking the queen. We have a queen to a5 with check, and now king to f2. Uh, queen to b4, uh, threatening that, that pawn on b2. And now uh, b3, of course, defending. Uh, we have knight to d6, and now Maurice finds uh, another great idea. He plays c3, offering another pawn to open up the c file. So we have uh, queen captures on c3, and now rook to c1. Uh, we have uh, queen to b2 check, uh, king to f1, and uh, rook to b6, now protecting that uh, c6 pawn from the rook. Uh, but here Maurice uh, finds another way into the position, he plays first rook a to b1, attacking the queen. The queen, ha the queen has nowhere to go, she can either go to a3 or capture the pawn on a2. Uh, 
so we have queen captures on a2 and now rook to a1 and now after the queen moves uh, queen captures on b3 maurice grabs this pawn on a7 and uh, oh, black's position is getting very uncomfortable uh, maurice is uh, threatening to capture this pawn here there are ideas like uh, rook to c7 check and such and uh, there is a really not a good, good move for mr viramantri here so he plays, he tries uh, rook to b7 defending, uh, but Maurice just captures it, rook captures on b7, we have uh, knight captures on b7, and now simply rook captures on c6 with check, and uh, in this position Mr. Sunil Viramantri resigned the game, uh, because there is only one move for him to play, and that is king to d7, and uh, after king to d7 is played, oh, <laughs> after king to d7 is played, simply rook to c7, and this is checkmate. So, yeah, I mean, look at this position. Uh, not once did, uh, well, not once did uh, Maurice actually try to push this f8 to grab this rook on h8. Because this rook on h8 was doing nothing for the entire game, and this <coughs> knight on e6 was definitely a monster knight. So, yeah, definitely a, a beautiful game uh, by Maurice Ashley, and uh, I don't know, <laughs> maybe he joined the commentators a bit too soon if, if he was able to produce uh, a beautiful game like this. So yeah, uh, that's it. Uh, I do hope you enjoyed this game by uh, by a, a famous chess commentator today, but uh, as you can see, uh, a great player before. And uh, yeah, as usual, you can check two of my previous videos here. Uh, thank you all for watching, and I will see you soon.